Hello and welcome to Canada's National Ballet School. My name is Ashley and I'm joined today by the wonderful Craig Wingrove who is going to be playing some music for us and we're going to dance and move along together. But before we do, just make sure that the space around you is clear. Move away any objects, make sure you have room to move your arms and your legs because we're going to really get going together today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test your ears a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to use my handy drum. So I need you to clap your hands to repeat a rhythm after me. So I will play it on the drum and then you play it back with your hands. Let's see how this goes. So I'm going to play. And you? Excellent. Try one more. Very nice. Okay, so let's try the same thing again, but this time I'm going to play the notes on the drum and you're going to stomp the rhythm with your feet. I'll give you an example. If I played this, your feet would do this. All right, let's give it a try. So I'll play. Bravo, a little more challenging this time. Did you get that one? I'll do it one more time. Great, and we can make rhythm with any body part. So this, this time let's do elbows. So your elbows don't have to actually make a sound. I can just see them move in space. What about this? Or this? Okay, so this time you decide, pick a body part. It could be your head, your eyes, your tongue, your hips, your knees. You play this rhythm back with any body part you choose. All right, one more. Oh, very good, okay. So I think our ears are working really well, which is great. And I'm going to test one more thing, and that's that you can follow me as we dance together. So place your feet nice and wide, wider than your hips. Open your shoulders and relax your arms. And let's just see if you can follow my movements. That's good. So whichever way my arms go, you follow. All right, you're excellent. Very well done. So the dance that we're going to learn together today is based on some learning, some ideas from the cardiovascular system. Does anybody know what the two major organs in our cardiovascular system are? It's our heart, which pumps the blood through our body, and our lungs, which take in oxygen and help fuel us as we move. So we're going to start our dance with a little bit of a heartbeat. Everyone stand with your feet nice and still and place your hands on your heart. The rhythm is going to sound like this. My heart, my heart, my heart, my heart. Good, let's try that one more time. So we're standing tall, hands on our chest, ready, set, here we go. My very nice, good. From there, we're going to move from our heart into our lungs. And our lungs breathe in oxygen, so can you take a deep breath, go breathe in. And bring your hands back to your heart. Let's try those two together. Ready, set, here we go. My heart, my heart. Find your lungs, go. Breathe, 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 and in, in, in. Very nice. The last time we do this, we're actually going to make a different shape when we breathe. So in our bloodstream, there are different kinds of cells that do different kinds of jobs. One of those cells is a red blood cell. Does anybody know what the shape of a red blood cell might be? Craig, do you know what the shape of a red blood cell is? Uh, I forget. Okay, <laughs> so a red blood cell kind of looks like a circle, but it, it's deflated. It almost looks like a basketball when you take the air out. So let's try that with our bodies. Breathe in, make a big round basketball-like shape, and then I need you to deflate that shape. Go. <laughs> Good, let's try that one more time. <laughs> All right, so we breathe in, make it big around, and now you can make the sound if you want, let it deflate. Very good. So it's sort of this floppy round shape that we're gonna make. 
All right, so let's practice with Craig doing our heartbeat, our lungs breathe, our heartbeat, and our lungs breathe until we deflate into that uh, red blood cell shape. All right, there'll be a musical introduction. We'll stand nice and still while uh, Craig helps us know how to hear the music. Ready? And. Ready? Heartbeat goes. Lungs breathe. Good. Once again, heartbeat. Lungs breathe. Deflate. Great. You guys are making great deflated shapes. I love how they're all different. Yeah, you don't have to deflate the same way twice. So now we're going to take that red, red blood cell on a journey through the circulatory system. So it's going to move from these big spacious veins, these arteries, where there's lots of space to move. So again, just be aware, if you're moving around your room at home, can you make sure the space is clear and that you're not going to bump into anyone or anything? Because we're going to travel. So we're going to move through a big space, like a big open artery. So our body's going to be pretty big as we move. Then we're going to take it smaller. So like we're going into a smaller vein. Our red blood cells don't really shrink, but we're, we're trying to create a medium or smaller shape to represent our veins. So we're going down, 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 down through the circulatory system. And we're going to finish by going into the smallest part of our circulatory system, and those are called capillaries. So our shape is going from big to small as we travel from our heart all the way through our circulatory system right down to a little capillary, maybe at the end of your finger or the end of your toe. Okay, so that's going to have eight counts for each. So starting with your deflated red blood cell shape, we're going to move for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we shrink a little smaller to go for eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we shrink a little smaller to go for eight more. One, two, three, get low, four, five, six, use your legs, seven, eight. And the last eight of the phrase, we're going to transfer our oxygen. So this red blood cell, has been carrying oxygen from the lungs and it's going to transfer it into the muscle or into our body. So you can pick your own way to transfer. Maybe you have to push the oxygen through. Maybe the oxygen waves through. You can decide how we finish the phrase with our oxygen transfer. Okay, let's review the whole dance. We start with our heartbeat and our lungs breathe our heartbeat, and then we come into that red blood cell shape. We go through this space being high in the space, medium in the space, low in the space, and we finish by giving our oxygen. All right, Craig, are we ready to start? Okay, feet planted under your hips. Let's listen for the introduction. And hands to your heart, heartbeat first. Lungs breathe. Good, let's do that again. Heartbeat. Lungs breathe. Deflate the shape. Travel big. Get medium. Now get really low. Maybe you touch the floor and get ready to transfer all that oxygen away. Excellent. Bravo, everybody. You are excellent oxygen transporters, red blood cells. So now we're going to try another cell that's a part of our bloodstream, and that's the white blood cells. Now, does anybody know what the white blood cells do for our body? There are defense team. Yeah? So they're part of what helps keep us healthy. They defend our body from invaders. 
That's right. So let's practice being the white blood cells with four strong, sharp movements. But I'm going to remind you that any time we're doing sharp movements, we have to be extra aware of our space, of the people and objects around us. So I'm going to be very careful not to hit the piano, and you be very careful in your home not to knock or kick anything over. All right, so let's try four white blood cell defender poses. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Good. And the other job our white blood cells do is that they're actually kind of our cleaning crew. They help to tidy up uh, inside our body. So how do you, are you helping to clean at home right now? How do you guys help clean up at home? What kind of things can we do? We can clean the floors and clean the windows, maybe dust. So let's pick one to start with. How about we start with the windows? So let's do that for eight counts. You could have a spray bottle. You could have two cloths or one. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You clean your way. Great. Let's try putting the two together. So we're going to do four defense poses and then our cleaning. Let's do it with my voice. Ready? Five, six, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, clean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's pick one more way that we could clean. We could clean, oh my goodness, we could plunge the toilet. All right, let's do it. Plunge the toilet. Plunge it, plunge it, plunge it. Okay, that's pretty goofy, but let's do it. So start with defense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plunge the toilet. Plunge, two, three, four. Good, that's excellent. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about we sweep the floor? Sweep, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try again. Slice and chop and three, and four, last one, let's dust, dust, and dust, and dust, and dust. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. So help me remember, I think we did windows, toilet, floor, and then we dusted the high shelves. Can we try all of that? Okay, let's try all of that together with an introduction, just the white blood cell section. Ready, and defending, here we go. One, two, three, clean the windows. Good, ready, defend. One, two, three, four, plunge the toilets. Defend, go. One, two, three, four, good. Clean the floor. Last time. That was excellent. Very good. So now we have two parts. The first part with our red blood cell travel, and the second part with our white blood cell defense. I think we should try to put part one and part two together. So let's do a little review. We start with our heart. We add in our lungs. We repeat our heart. Then we show the shape of our red blood cell. We travel through arteries and veins and capillaries till we donate our oxygen. After that, we become our defenders and our cleaners. I think we're ready, let's try. From the beginning, feet planted, getting ready to listen for the introduction. Ready, and. Hands to your heart, feel your heart beat. Breathe it in. Good. Heartbeat again. Big breath. Now let it deflate. Traveling. High for eight. Good. Now get medium. Now get really low. How can you travel low? Give your oxygen away. 
All right, ready to defend. Go. One, two, three, four, clean. Defend. Go. One, two, three, four, clean the toilet. Plunge it. Oh, good. And defend. One, two, be strong. Three, four, good, clean the floor. This is our last one. Ready? Go. One, two, sharp, dust the ceiling. Excellent. We have one last part to our dance. To finish, we're going to do another cell in our blood. It's called a platelet. And platelets are very round cells. So can you make this round shape with me? They're very round cells. But when we get an injury or a cut, they go into action. And our blood has proteins in it that will tell it to turn from a round shape into a spiky shape. Yes, that's right. So platelets, which are round cells, in the presence of proteins, turn spiky and sticky. Good. So can you try that with me one more time? We're going to do one, two, three, four, stick. Try it again. Round, two, three, four, stick. One more time. One, two, three, four, stick. Very good. And then these sticky platelets, what they do is they actually connect to things to build clots, clots that protect our body from the outside. That's right. So can you connect to something in your space? Maybe it's a chair or a table or a couch. Whatever you connect with, make sure that you're being really safe as you do as you do it, as you connect. So I'm going to connect to the piano, and I'm going to imagine on the other side I could connect to a chair, and I'm building a clot. Let's try that last part together. So plant your feet. So we do platelet protein. That's it. The platelet becomes sticky. Last time, the platelet, it gets spiky, and then it sticks to its friends to build a clot. Do you think we could try the whole dance, starting with the heart, lungs, and red blood cells, moving to the white blood cells that defend and clean, and finishing with our platelets that get sticky and build a clot? The clot shape, my connected shape, will be the end pose of our dance. Are you ready? Let's put our feet together, stand tall to signal to Craig that we can start with an introduction from the beginning. Ready? And hands on your heart. You go. Breathe it in. One more time, my heart. Breathe it in. Red blood cell shape. Good. Travel big. Travel medium. Good. Travel really low. How can you travel low, low, low? Give your oxygen away. White blood cells defend. round. Platelets, stick. Platelets. Last one. Round and then stick it and then connect it to finish. Bravo everybody. You really danced the circulatory system beautifully and it was so fun to share with all of you. So just to finish up, Let's bring our energy back down. So can you put your feet together? And I want you to take out your fingers, give them a wiggle. And can you go down one arm, 
and up the other. And can you do that on the other side as well? Go down and go up. Great. Now do the same thing all the way down to your toes and come up. Let's do that with a sweep. Sweep your arm and sweep the other arm. And then can you sweep on your legs? Sweep on your legs. Excellent. Take your hands back to your heart. Let's take a deep breath together. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more times. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. Great. And at the end of every opportunity to dance together, we always do a reverence, which is a dancer's way to say thank you for each other, to have the ability to dance with each other, but also for our wonderful musician, Craig Wingrove, who played such great music for us today. So I have a special way I like to say thanks at the end of the class. Can you place your hand on your heart and say, my heart? Place your hand on your forehead, say, my thoughts and my thanks to you. Let's say that together. My heart, my thoughts, my thanks to you. Excellent. Can we turn together and say that to Craig? Craig, my heart, my thoughts, and my thanks to you. A big thank you from Canada's National Ballet School for joining us and dancing with us today. Bye.